Hey everybody, this is Derek and I'm concerned about climate change. I just wanted to do a quick video um, out here, just my face on camera. NASA has just announced that this May was the hottest May on record. And this is the 13th month in a row of record monthly temperatures. Um, and it just got me thinking about why it is that I do these videos and why I get so bent out of shape every time there's one of these announcements that's becoming pretty routine. And I think it's because I'm thinking about my son. Um, I have a toddler. He's about one and a half years old right now. And I really want him to have a future where he can reach his full potential, where the kind of life that he lives is based on how hard he's willing to work and how smart he's willing to work. And that we've left him an environment and a future where he can have the things that he dreams about. But that's not going to happen unless we get our act together. Right now, you know, the international community is kind of centered around this idea of a two degrees Celsius temperature increase being kind of the red line for quote unquote safe climate change. That, that after that two degrees, things are supposedly gonna get really dicey. But recently, Dr. James Hansen has published a study that shows that even if we stay at that two degree temperature increase, that we risk some very dangerous climate change effects, including within 60 years, you know, boulder hurling superstorms in the North Atlantic and nonlinear sea level rise from melting ice caps and Greenland melting. And that's if we stay at two degrees. But we're not going to stay at two degrees if we stay on our current course. We're currently on track for something like a four to six degree temperature increase. And, you know, Hansen's paper talked about how the effects just from two degrees could make society completely ungovernable because it would it would flood the major cities and cause a massive migration crisis. But with four to six degrees, you're looking at a future that is just not compatible with anything that we would think of as an organized society or healthy human life. It may actually literally be unlivable. So if we hit that number, if we don't do something to stop it, our kids aren't going to have any kind of future to speak of. So it's imperative that we get our fossil fuel use and our energy demand as low as possible, as quickly as possible. But we're not going to be able to do that either unless we demand some accountability for the people that are preventing that action in the first place. You may have heard about the recent investigation into whether or not Exxon knew about the climate risks of its products. It absolutely knew. The reporting from Inside Climate News shows that they knew as early as the mid 70s that the products that they were selling were going to have effects that could risk up to six degrees in temperature rise and that science is still good there's been nothing that's come out in the interim that has disproved that very high risk posed by their products that they knew about and then they lied to their shareholders and then they lied to the public about the risks of those products so if we're going to have a future worth living, we've got to demand accountability for those executives and for those companies that continue to deceive on climate change. And we've got to vote their toadies out of elected office. That's just not optional. If we don't do that, we are not gonna have the political space to make the changes we need to make sure that our kids have a future worth living. So once again, hottest May on record. It's the 13th hottest month in a row. The climate change impacts are very apparent this year and we've got to do something to rein in the use of fossil fuels. I've had to do this one outdoors and much less fancy than usual because my time's really limited this week. I'm working on a climate change denial protest outside of the Texas Public Policy Foundation and they're, they're launching a book uh, for a couple of climate change deniers in downtown Austin on the 22nd and I'll include details about that rally and protests in the description of this video so you should join if you're in the Austin area but if you're not please share this video with your friends and make sure that they know about the recent update from NASA and about what we've got to do to make sure that we have a livable society thank you